Hello and welcome to a new video about Prometics. This time we are going to talk about a yet another special form of cylinder, a rotary cylinder. So a cylinder is linear movement, right? Up to now we only moved linear. But what is a rotary cylinder? I will try to show you and explain you a little bit how this is working. You will see it's not that complicated. So let's have a look. I will try to draw this here. So there is the cylinder casing. And of course there is also a piston inside. So there is, there is the connector and there is one piston inside. How this is constructive built? It's another topic. Yeah. So here it's connected. Here we have no, this is the end cap of the cylinder. Something like this. Yeah. This is one connector. And here on the other side I also have a cylinder yeah, or a, a piston. Cylinders running through, and there is also an end cap, and this is also a connector. So we see already, it seems to be a double acting cylinder. However, there are two pistons inside, and there is no, I cannot see any, any rod, piston rod. There is a piston rod, but this piston rod is simply connecting those two. Okay. So those two pistons are connected to each other, but this is not a standard rod. It has there teeth, like a gear. Okay. And this is exactly what it is, what it is yeah? because here we have a gear beautiful hands huh? <laughs> here we have a gear yeah? and now suddenly this helps us if this cylinder is traveling this will swivel the gear yeah? so if the cylinder is traveling linear yeah, if I apply here air and get rid of the air here, the cylinder is traveling and this will move in this direction. If we turn at the end position here, yeah, we can travel back and this will move in the other direction. Rotary cylinder, this is called. Yeah. Rotary cylinder. Okay. Usually we can rotate from from zero, zero to three hundred sixty degree, something like this in this area, yeah, left, right, yeah. and the torque might be up to one hundred fifty newton meters yeah, at six bars. Pressure. This is a typical value, a maximum value, something like this. This can be applied, but there are also, of course, smaller, smaller variants where you can only use uh, one a half newton meter, something like this, yeah? zero point five one newton meter, up to one hundred fifty newton meters. Yeah? These are the, these are the torques there. Yeah? Double acting approach. Area of movement, torque of movement. Huh? Suddenly, a cylinder can also rotate. Huh? Next time, we're going to talk about yet another item which is going to rotate, yeah, a swivel drive, chromatic swivel drive. We'll see how this is working. Then we don't need this gearbox. Huh? However, we, no, we are not going to reach the 360. I will show you. 
We'll show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.